so let's just get straight into the video i'm using my nyx white jumbo pencil to prime my eyelids so that the color could pop and i'm using my fingers to blend it in and i'm gonna do this on the both on both eyelids of course <laughs> Then I'm going in with my morph palette. I'm using the orange in there and I'm going to put it all over my eyelids. So as you can see with the primer on there, it makes the eyeshadow pop more. So I'm going to put this on in the crease and all over my eyelids in a circular motion. And I'm going to do this on both sides in the same motion to make sure it's blended perfectly then I'm going to use the red from that same palette and I'm going to put it over the same area over the orange the same motion and everything that makes the red pop even more because of the orange base the white, orange, and not red. Because I want it like a bright color. So then I'm going to use my Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige to do my cut crease. And I'm using this angled brush to do that. I'm not really good at cut crease, but I'm really proud of how it turned out today. <laughs> And I'm going to do that on both eyelids and you will see that I made a mistake on this eyelid but I came back and corrected but you're going to see that as the video go along. Now I'm going in with this light orange color from this beach cosmetic palette. It's like 120 colors and I'm dabbing that on there. I know it's light but it's going to be another base for a brighter orange. So I'm just putting that on both eyelids for now in a dabbing motion. And then I'm going to put the darker orange from the same morph palette. The same orange I used prior. And you can see that it gets brighter or darker, however you want to put it. And then I'm going to use the green from the same palette. And I'm going to put it on the end of my eyelids. And kind of in the crease. And I'm sticking right there. It took me a minute to actually get the green to sit on there because I have so many other colors on my eyelids but it worked out afterwards you just have to play with your eyeshadow and that's what I did it's like painting you know so I'm doing that at the ends and in the crease I mean in the corner of my eyelids as well and I'm going to do that on both eyes.
Now I'm going back in with the orange in the middle there, the same orange to kind of blend everything together so it looks more transition and smooth. Then I realized I needed my eyelids to pop a little more so I had this eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild. It is cream, it's like a creamy eyeshadow but it has glitter in it and I had orange and green. How convenient. So I put the green obviously on the green areas and the orange glitter on the orange areas and it made my eyeshadow pop way more and I really loved how it turned out. Now I'm going in with my foundation from Maybelline Fit Me, I think it's the shade 330 and I'm going to put that all over my face with my NYX brush, my favorite makeup brush of all time. I know you guys know that by now. And then for my highlights, I am using the same creamy beige concealer. I never used this before to highlight, this is my first time trying it. I know it's very light but it actually turned out pretty well with blending a lot. I had to blend it a lot but I loved how it turned out regardless. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my Dark Cocoa Pro Concealer and I'm putting that obviously in my contoured areas and I'm blending that in. I love Dark Cocoa, it gives me such a beautiful contour look. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> So for my waterline, I'm using this black eyeliner from MAC Cosmetics. Putting that under there. And then to make under my eyes pop, I'm going in with the same shade of orange and green that I use on my eyelids. And I'm putting it under my eyes as well to give it a more popping look. Now it's time for highlights and I'm using one of the highlighters from the It's My Ray palette and I'm putting it obviously in my highlighted areas, <laughs> my nose, 
my cheekbones, my forehead. Yep. And then I'm going in with this lip pencil from MAC as well, but it is a kind of burgundy color. And I know I overdraw my lips, but it turned out well afterwards with a lot of blending. <laughs> Then I went in with this beige lipstick from e.l.f. I put that all over my lips, blend it out with my fingers because I realized how deep I drawn my lips on. It was really deep so I had to blend it out. Then I went in with this thick lip pencil. Uh, it's a kind of pinkish color, I can't remember where I got it from. And then I can find my lip gloss, so I use this chapstick I got from the dollar store. It's a skittle flavor, it smells so good. So I put that all over my lips. And now it's time for my eyelashes. And my eyelashes is from my lash brand that is going to be launching in Trinidad pretty soon. These in particular, this is like my fourth time wearing it and it's still nice and popping. So yeah, I'm putting on up the next side now. Can't wait for you guys to see the finished look. <laughs> then I blend it out with mascara. I think it's from Maybelline. You can use any mascara of course. But I love this jumbo mascara. It makes my real eyelashes pop a lot. Then to give me this tribal look, I use this pinpoint brush and I use this loose eyeshadow I have from, I think from e.l.f. And I kind of dipped it in there and made these dots on my face. And yeah, I put it all over my chin, my forehead and over my cheeks. And this is the final look. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.